How far must LTE MIMO antennas be spaced? That's if you use LTE with two antennas. Now firstly, if you use the two antennas, if you take two linear antennas, for example, uh, log periodic, that the one is vertical and the other one is horizontal, and we sell brackets to allow you to do that, they can be spaced as close as you want, as long as they don't touch each other, because that's two different polarizations. We also sell a, a LPDA 20, which is spaced 45, so if you look at it from behind, the one is spaced like that, and the one is spaced like that, and the bottom is almost against each other, no problem. So if they, because it's still 90 degrees, if they sp if you use polarization, you don't need to space them. If you use omnis, because omnis at the moment we can only get vertical ones, and if you want to use MIMO and you still want omni because there's good reasons to have omni, you need to space them, and then you get what's known as space diversity, which also gives you MIMO performance, even though they both say vertically polarized. And that spacing there, if I give you a very, very simple rule, at 900 megahertz should be 90 centimeters, almost a meter. At 1800, Half of that, about 0 0.5 meter, and I would say 0 0.5 meters where you should stay. That's if they're horizontally spaced. If you vertically space them, use exactly the same rule. Um, use about, by the way, further apart is always better, but that will work. Um, if they're vertically spaced, you can space them further. I would recommend that you use horizontal spacing if you've got mountains, buildings, and things where things can reflect off the sides. Um, if you are in a big open land in a felt somewhere, then vertical spacing is virtually the only one that will work. You won't get much um, worth out of horizontally spaced antennas. So that's the simple message in terms of using linearly polarized antennas um, using for MIMO applications. And of course both of these go to the modem.